Yeah, yeah, say bitch, I got my cup, my cup. Yeah, yeah, I'ma drink till I throw up, throw up, and you know, you know, my mind is stuck, I'm puff, I'm puffing, you know, you know, I just don't give a fuck. Here we go. Yeah. Hunter fucking Henry. Here's what's gonna happen when we talk about Hunter Henry. Nate's gonna shut the fuck up. Robbie's gonna tell you about this motherfucker. We're here, live, in 2020, and the NFL's highest paid tight end is Hunter Henry. Now, I am 31 years old. I grew up on a great fucking generation of tight ends. Antonio Gates, Tony Gonzalez, Jason Witten, Rob Gunkowski, all outstanding, all Hall of Famers. How did we get to a point where Hunter Henry is the highest paid tight end in the NFL? This guy's literally done nothing. Made the playoffs once, missed an entire season. I think he might have one good year. Um, I'm, I'm trying to look it up. I don't. I, I don't know. I'm I'm lost on this because the even fathoming the fact that Hunter Henry's the highest paid tight end in the league right now is an actual statement that people can say. He's the highest paid tight end by default. He is that because he signed his franchise tender, which is about ten million a year. How? Yeah. How, how does Travis Kelsey not make 12, 15, 16, 17 million a year? How much did Pittsburgh just pay Eric Ebron? I didn't see that. It's fucking six. My team, Eight? the Las Vegas know. Raiders, have Darren Waller, who's a top five tight end. He's only making seven. Now, Henry is 25 years old. I, it's not like we're saying that he's a bad tight end. No. We're he's not. just not the number one tight end. I don't want to live in the world where Hunter Henry is the NFL's highest paid tight end. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to... I already don't like the Chargers. You're just going to give me more ammo? Ten and a half million. Yeah. Ten and a half million. What does he got? One, de- one decent year? I don't not, think... The not NFL... Pro Bowl. Not All Pro. Just one decent year? I don't think the NFL wants Hunter Henry to be the highest paid tight end. I'm well, guessing the Chargers... He's not, he's not going to be now because this is going to reset the market. 100%. I'm guessing the Chargers don't want him to be the highest paid tight end either. That's why they give him a one year deal. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Fifty five catches on seventy six targets, six hundred and fifty two yards and five touchdowns. So you are the NFL's highest paid tight end because you had a year where you had six hundred and fifty yards. Oh my god, you're so fucking trash. What are we doing? What are we doing? What are we doing, Los 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 Angeles? Why did Los Angeles tag him? That's the better question. You should know. You either know or you don't. I think the conclusion to all the things that we have talked about that have to do with the Los Angeles Chargers is that the Los Angeles Chargers as a whole are the fucking clowns of the week. They, 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 they decide to share a stadium in a market that can't even support one team. And now they're making Hunter Henry the highest paid tight end. And they're not even the premier team in that market that they're sharing. Like I told you last time, this is why they need Cam Newton. All of their home games do. are already technically road games because there's more away team fans in the stands than there is home team. That's it's because all their fans are on the beach in San <laughs> Diego. We personally, the Raiders personally, love playing the Chargers because that means we get 10 home games a year because we always take over their stadium. It's, Phillip Rivers couldn't make them relevant. Did, so. was it, that was in San Diego. It was, still, it was still the same mantra. Nobody in the stands. No one cares. They couldn't even fill a thirty thousand seat Stocker Stadium. So well, so here's, if they get a wait in San Diego, they, are they good over San Diego? They had fans. No, no fans in San Diego. So they're going to LA. They had, they're still not going to have fans. If you would watch their home games in San Diego on TV, let's say you were a fan of the Falcons, there would be more Falcons jerseys in the stands than the Wood Chargers. Mm-hmm. It was every week. When when the Raiders came to town, all black in the stands, no Chargers. So why aren't they exploring other options instead of uh, trying to do the same thing that has failed like five times? I don't understand going to L.A. I don't understand it at you all. You got San Antonio. Yep. Texas is a huge hotbed for football. You play there. St. Louis, still dying for a football team. Don't know why the Rams left. Mm-hmm. The, the St. Louis, what, is the St. Louis Renegades? Is it's, that the XFL team? It's a terrible no, option. That was St. Louis... Battlehawks. Battlehawks. I even think Filling going to London stadium. would be a better option than doubling up in L.A. I don't like that at all. It has to be financial. Yeah. And it has to be they're saving money on the deal for an eventual move out of California. Because if they're not working in San Diego, 
they're saving money splitting LA with with the Rams, yeah. who clearly is a better fit for yeah. LA. People are gravitating to the Rams. They got a new logo that looks like a four year old drew it. They're they're really excited about it, which is fine. Whatever their jerseys are going to look like the the you know tricolor highlighter jerseys mm-hmm. from the you know Thursdays we don't want to watch anymore. Um, Within the next ten years, somebody is going to London. They're not just playing games. They're setting it up. Yeah. It's going to be London somebody. London is dumb. We already have problems from going west coast to east coast for games. Let's now you're making people drive. Drive. I'm driving right across the Atlantic Ocean here to go to my football game. I don't know nothing about well, geography. Well, I think the London move makes sense for either. There's three teams in Florida. So one of the Florida teams makes sense because that's Jacksonville's right. the front runner. Right. Of course, their owner likes that market. It's mm-hmm. from over there. It's all good. He's already bought a soccer stadium, in case you didn't know. I'm not talking about the the semantics of it. I think it's stupid to make players make that time zone jump. It's already ineffective to make them play three time zones away. Now you're going to make them play 12 hours or however the hell long it is. Is this your welcome to the internet? NFL doesn't give a shit about its players? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, bitch, I got my cup, my cup. Yeah, yeah. I'm a drink till I throw up, throw up. And you know, you know. My mind is stuck, I'm puff, I'm puff. And you know, you know. I just don't give a fuck. Here we go. Yeah, yeah.